You guys, this is a video that you have been waiting for and I have also been waiting for. This is a massive, massive clean, declutter, and organize with me. I'm decluttering all of the toys in my home, decluttering and organizing my pantry, as well as deep cleaning the twins room. Wait till you see how much stuff I got rid of. So let's get ready, let's get motivated, and let's do some decluttering. Hello friends, I'm Jamie. Thank you for being here. Thanks for coming back each and every week. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you carve time out of your busy day, your busy weeks to spend time with me. And if you're brand new here, hello, I want to say hi. I truly mean that when I say that I'm glad you're here, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope this is a community where you feel motivated and inspired and you feel like you belong because you absolutely do. So this is going to be a massive clean, declutter, and organize with me over two days. This was a night one and the kids were helping me get the kitchen and living room picked up before bedtime. And then on day two, you're going to see me declutter all of the toys in our basement, in the kids' room, living room. I'm also going to be decluttering our pantry and just basically getting into this huge mindset of getting rid of stuff. I don't know what it is about this year. I just, I, I've never been in such a big itch to just declutter and get rid of stuff. You know, we have this big finished basement and we have these toys down there. And when the, you know, when my three small girls go down there, it's just like a bomb went off. And I just have been in this kick of just ready to get rid of stuff. So that is the plan. So you can tell Emery is the one in these clips. She's in these clips the most between the twins. Um, Avery has always been a massive daddy's girl so much so that when she was little, she would not let me do anything. Like I couldn't change her, couldn't change her diaper. She always wanted Mike to do it. This day, she goes to, to daddy for everything. The twins are a little bit different, and Emery is definitely more of my little buddy. She prefers that I do everything. Addison is like hit or miss. She probably prefers Mike more than me, but she doesn't throw a fit like Avery did when she was little. Emery's kind of my little cleaning buddy. And typically at night, Mike and I tag team, and that's how I'm able to have a clean home at night and get my kids to bed at a decent time and myself. It's because 
Mike and I work as a team. So typically our nighttime routine is Mike will take them upstairs to get them ready for bed or give them a bath while I clean up. But he actually had a lot of work to do. So he was upstairs finishing up work while the girls were helping me clean. But it's kind of nice right now because the the twins can actually help. Now, don't get me wrong. If you could hear the the, the true audio from these clips, I was raising my voice quite a bit, trying to keep them on task and, you know, don't fight or don't do this, um, stop arguing. But overall, they're, they're helpful now. Not all the time, but it's kind of nice to know that I can, I'm able to get some things done, even if it's just a short period of time with them. But stay tuned for day two. I'm gonna be getting up early, deep cleaning the carpets in the twins room, and then starting so much decluttering, decluttering in the basement, living room, and pantry. Addison had actually leaked through her diaper at nap time, so I had washed her crib mattress cover earlier, so I was just putting it back together before the girls went to bed. I recently got these new Newton baby crib mattresses for the girls because theirs were falling apart, like literally falling apart. And then later in today's video, I will be sharing more about the Newton baby crib mattresses that I got. It's honestly a little bit embarrassing about how bad how bad of shape their old mattresses were. And I had a friend recommend the Newton baby crib mattresses because they lasted through her three kids from newborn to the toddler stages and beyond. And right now you can get $50 off of your Newton crib mattress plus free shipping by using my link and code in the description. You can also try 100 nights of sleep on the Newton baby crib mattress. And if you're not happy, Newton offers free returns, which I personally love. But I was pretty much finishing up my evening of cleaning and I just wanted to vacuum because I, I wanted to start out the next morning by getting to work right away, cleaning the carpets in here because the carpet between their cribs for whatever reason was crunchy. I don't know why it was crunchy and hard. I, I don't know. So I wanted to deep clean their carpets. I have not done it in a while in this room. So the next morning I was planning on getting up early, getting to work and cleaning the carpet so they would be dry by the time the girls went down for their nap. This Newton baby crib mattress is a two-stage crib mattress that brings safer sleep to babies and peace of mind to all parents. It's 100% breathable. You can see how breathable this mattress is just by looking at it. You can see the light going through the mattress. Like I said, you can see right through it. It's made of the same food grade material as a yogurt cup and the entire mattress is washable. Yes, the entire mattress. It's recyclable with its revolutionary breathable surfaces 
It's designed with innovative breathe-through technology. You can, like I said, you can breathe right through the mattress, which when I read that, I was like, all right, I'm putting this to the test. I put my face in the mattress and I could breathe right through it. This significantly reduces the risk of suffocation. It allows air to flow freely for optimal breathability and temperature regulation to help your baby and you sleep longer. The Newton crib mattress doesn't contain any foam, coils, latex, glue, or toxins. It's hypoallergenic and completely washable. I'm just throwing that out there again because that is game changing in my opinion. Um, there is no other crib mattress on the market that is completely washable like the Newton crib mattress. The only thing I regret is not getting this mattress sooner. Our crib mattresses have obviously taken a beating and they have not lasted. And we would have saved ourselves a lot of stress during those early days, but it also would have saved us from all of the stress because the messes are easier to clean up with the Newton baby crib mattresses. I just wish I would have gotten a Newton mattress from the start. I personally love how easy they are to clean because toddler messes can be a lot and I plan to use these mattresses for a long, long time. So make sure to click the link and use my code in the description and get $50 off of your Newton crib mattress plus free shipping. You can also try 100 nights of sleep on Newton baby. And if you're not happy, Newton offers free returns. If you are in the market for a safe and healthy baby mattress, you can stop your research today because Newton Baby has come to the rescue because it's 100% washable. This investment will actually save you money in the long run. You can learn from my mistakes as you can pass it down from child to child and it will stay intact. Again, click my link and use my code below to get $50 off plus free shipping on your Newton crib mattress. With the 100 night sleep guarantee, you have nothing to lose. So I will have the Bissell Pro Heat Pro Pet Carpet Cleaner linked in the description. Just so you know, I have two links in there. One is for Kohl's. It's a department store here in the United States and they have coupons a lot. Like I think every month they offer Kohl's cash. So, you know, if you want to go that route because you like shopping at Kohl's and you have those coupons, go get it from there um, or you can get it from Amazon as well. So either way, I will have them both linked in the description. And the solution that I put in here is the type of solution that is made for these type of machines. And when I say these type of machines, I mean upright carpet cleaners. Uh, I use the off-brand solution like Walmart or Target um, that they have for upright carpet cleaners. I know a lot of other people will use OxyClean or different types of cleaners. And I just like those could work great and I know a lot of you guys they've said they do work great but for me these machines are so expensive I just want to make for sure I'm using the solution that is specifically made for these type of machines so I haven't ventured out um, but like I said you can get off-brand solution that's a lot cheaper.
So while I was in here, I don't know if you guys noticed in the clip from the night clip from the night before when I moved their cribs on the wall, it looked like there were streaks of water or something, some liquid, I guess, that had dripped down the wall. I assume it was water because sometimes if the twins have a hard time going down for their nap, we will give them a sippy cup of water just because it's just a nap. It's not a big deal. It's not like they're going to leak through their diaper at nap. Um, for the most part, they don't, as long as they have the right size of diapers. Um, I'm assuming one of them tossed it against the wall and it leaked. So I figured while I had the cribs moved, I would clean the walls really quickly. And I'm using my wall cleaning, wall cleaner tool from Amazon and the Zep foaming wall cleaner. I will have both of these linked in the description. I get the foaming wall cleaner from Home Depot um, and the wall cleaner tool is pretty great. So I was so ready to do this. I think I had been, I've been wanting and waiting to do this for so long. I was just so ready to get rid of toys. And the other part, I think why I was like so motivated to get so much done this day was I had the kids out of the house and I wasn't in a rush because my kids were gone. They were going to be gone all morning through lunch and then the twins would take a nap and then it was the weekend and we didn't have any plans in the evening. So I just was not in a rush at all. And that never happens. I'm always on a time crunch trying to get stuff done because we have to do something, be somewhere. Someone's going to wake up. And if you're a mom, and you have young kids, to be able to clean and not be in a rush, it's just, it's kind of amazing. And when you just have hours of free time to get things done, it just put me in a good mood and I just wanted to get as much done as I can. And it just kept motivating me to keep going. I told Mike in our next house, I actually hope we have a smaller room to utilize as a toy room. I, we love our basement to keep all the toys because it's like, you know, we can shut the door. I can let it be messy for weeks at a time and then just go out there and clean it like, you know, every couple of weeks or so. Um, but I just feel like, you know, Avery has friends over, the kids are down there. And because it's a big space, the toys almost get like scattered throughout the whole basement and it just takes longer to clean up. And no, we don't have like a new house yet or anything. I'm just saying like in general, like I hope we have a loft area or an extra room to put all of the toys into like a smaller area. And I also want to try to keep the toys out of their room for the most part and concentrate the toys to one area. Um, and I don't know, in my experience, as Avery has gotten older, the toys have gotten less and maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping um, by the time we find a new house, if we have a smaller room, I can combine all three of the girls' toys um, together in one smaller room so it'll be easier to clean up. All right, so this is everything I decluttered. So a couple of these bags are garbage toys that were broken. We're missing a ton of pieces, but a majority of these bags are going to the shelter. Toys that are going to the shelter and um, shelter. Now these I'm these I'm actually giving to my sister-in-law. So big toys go to my sister-in-law. The rest of these being donated. Oh, this feels so good, you guys. So, so good.
So if you've been around for a while, you know this is just how it goes with our toilet in the basement. It's cold and damp down here and it doesn't get flushed enough. So if you have basements, it can get, especially in the winter, can get cold and damp. Um, and yes, we should be coming down here and flushing it more, but to be honest with you, it's kind of on the bottom of our li list of concerns. It's not a big deal. Um, I've tried the bleach tablets in the tank. I've tried like leaving stuff. Like I wanna be careful. I don't wanna just like keep cleaner or bleach like sitting in the bowl just cause the twins are down here sometimes. And anyways, it's yes it looks gross but i don't think it's honestly that big of a deal but i was kind of cringing the other day avery had a friend over a neighborhood girl and i was down there i was um doing a spin workout on my bike and she went in to go to the bathroom and as she was going i cringed i was like oh great she came out and i was like just so you know that wasn't like a toilet mess it is just i haven't cleaned that toilet in a while and i was embarrassed because i was afraid she was going to go home and tell her mom like Avery's toilet is so gross her mom doesn't clean it and I was a little bit embarrassed but I was like oh it's fine I texted her mom and we like had a good laugh about it for the most part I don't think kids notice or care but I did have to let her know but again I'm embarrassed but you know what I can't do it all I try my best but I can't and this is not something I'm gonna stress too much about I was just vacuuming and mopping down here to kind of tie the room together and I know it doesn't look like like when you see the end result you're not like wow like what a huge difference but I am telling you I'm going to insert a picture right here the next day my kids were down here pretty much on and off all day long playing for about like all day long and when they were done I came down here and I was like wow the fact that they've been down here all day long and there is not this huge mess I mean it was messy but nowhere close to the messes that I normally see down here which to me proved all of my hard work did pay off there is a lot less toys down here um you just it's hard to notice because we have like a lot of storage you know for the toys um, but there's just a lot less in the storage areas which was my goal So I know you guys probably don't think it looks that much better, but I mean, these are all things that the girls still play with. Um, I would have loved to get rid of this, but they actually play in the ball pit a lot with the slide. But all that's in there is a keyboard and a guitar. And then in here, it's just more play food, dress up stuff, and then a few miscellaneous things, like really not that much toys. So, while it doesn't look that much different, it really is. Um, and I think it'll be very noticeable. I just told Mike that when Avery has friends over or when the girls are down here playing, you know how things, when there's kids here, things just get like overturned. I think that's when we're gonna notice the difference because there's not a lot of like little junky toys anymore. Um, there's just a lot less. So I think that's when we'll notice it for sure. <laughs>
much everything I kept was just kitchen stuff, like food, play food, baby doll stuff. That's really the main things, other than a few of like the older toys for Avery. Um, oh, and dress up. Dress up, kitchen, like play food stuff, and baby doll stuff. Like those are the main things the twins um, play with. But I did want to tell you guys this, because I don't think I've said this before. I've said before, I don't show this front room very often, just because I don't like it. I don't like the curtains. I don't, that's, we've had that for like 15 years. Um, I just don't like this room. It's designed to be... A dining room but we have no use for a dining room and I just I don't know because it's carpeted I just don't want it to be my dining room and then to have a table here that we're never using when it's basically an extension of our living room it's just I don't like all of our friends that live in this neighborhood with the same layout which is a lot there's a lot of houses that look similar this room is cut off there is a wall from here to here and then there's French doors here, and this is used as an office. So I wish that was the case for us. But anyways, I know we could make the changes, but since we've already decided that we're moving because of the backyard and wanting more privacy, we're like, we're not gonna add a wall here. But anyways, I am planning on redoing this room slightly. Like I don't wanna put much money into this house at all. So I'm trying to be aware of that and not spending anything, but I don't, I wouldn't really do anything other than update the curtains. Then I want to get something here. Like, so maybe like a similar basket system to what we have downstairs, but maybe a little bit nicer. And then I want to do some family pictures up here. So just more storage, like almost like we're not going to put in built-in cabinets here, but almost like a cheaper way to do like a nicer, cheaper way to do like the, like we have downstairs, like the baskets, but I would do like nicer baskets, maybe like a nicer cube system. I can put some decoration, something a little bit taller, and then some big family pictures. And then I may bring the nugget up here. So um, yes, anyways, that is my plan just to make this room look a little bit nicer because I have no other use for this room and I don't know what else I would do anyways. And we could always use, you know, like more storage. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do maybe after the first of the year and just make this room look a little bit nicer and put, give it a little bit of an update without spending too much money. I almost didn't even do this because at this point I was like, man, I've gotten so much done today. I've had such a successful, productive day. I need to sit down and put my feet up. But our pantry kind of was a mess. And you guys know when you're in that like that mode, you know, you're just feeling good. Like you just have the best day ever. You're being productive. Your energy levels are high and you're just in a good mood. You just want to keep going. And then, you know, add on to the fact that I had just so much free time this day. That I just wanted to keep going. Um, like, I know when you guys see my videos, it always looks like, oh, I have all of this energy and I'm always just so productive. But obviously, like, you're not seeing the always the full picture. Um, this was a day that like the stars were aligned. I had gotten plenty of sleep. Um, it was like the right time of the month for me. Like everything was just like lining up to like, I just had so much energy and I did not want to stop. But I promise you that not every day is like this. Some days I'm dragging and I can barely get what I need to get done. And then other days I like, I get so much done.
I also get asked a lot about what energy supplements I take. And if you saw those energy supplements on the counter, those are actually Mike's. Um, he takes them before he works out. He works about actually like five to six times a week. Um, he goes to the gym. But for me, honestly, as long as I get seven hours, at least seven hours of sleep consistently, I am good to go. I drink two cups of coffee a day. I just drink my coffee black. I'm just, I know, kind of boring, but give me seven hours of sleep consistently and two cups of coffee and I am raring to go. Like I can get a million things done as long as I get my sleep. Now, if I don't get my sleep, that's when I tank. Like I do not do well off of no sleep. Now I think like when I think back to my kids, like when they were babies and newborns and stuff, I think there's a bit of adrenaline and your body's in this like survivor, su su survival mode that you don't really notice it. And you just power through. But when I don't get my sleep, I am like worthless, but give me my seven hours of sleep, my two cups of coffee, and I am ready to go. I do eat Verb Energy Bars. I love the chocolate chip banana bread. I do eat those, not daily, but a lot. And then I also, before I work out, will take like a pre-workout drink. But other than that, like on a normal day, it's just coffee, occasionally a Verb Energy Bar, and then my sleep. Like that is, if I get my sleep, I'm good to go. There was a big mistake. I just hope that we're still okay You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds No, it doesn't look that much different, but it's smells cleaner in here that's for sure so just feels good to have carpets clean you can notice a difference in the scent of the room especially when you're in like a smaller room like this it feels good it feels satisfying to have the carpets cleaned all right obviously it's a lot later it's the same day kids got home kids napped um we played a little bit this afternoon and mike just took them out to go pick up dinner I'm excited about that. Took them out of the house. I'm like, get them out, even though they were gone this morning. I'm gonna fold some laundry and finally get stuff done for the night so we can just have fun tonight. So that is the plan. Fold the laundry. I know you have laundry. I know it. Go get your laundry right now. I am telling you, I'm go get your laundry and let's fold together. Stays, cause you always But here's your reminder, you are seeing my highlight reel, if that's what you wanna say it. Like, obviously I'm not putting up videos where I'm just sitting on the couch with my legs kicked up. That would be kind of boring. Oh, it would be very boring actually. So of course you're only seeing me get stuff done and you're also seeing me get stuff done over a two or three day period. So just keep that in mind. I have very productive, successful days and I have some days that are not productive and I have no energy. forget if you're in the market for a new crib mattress you can get $50 off your Newton crib mattress plus free shipping by using the link in the code in the description you get 100 nights of sleep to try out this Newton baby crib mattress so if you're not happy you can return it free returns so you truly have nothing to lose so go check that out in the description Say bye guys bye guys <laughs> I totally forgot to close out the video earlier when I was done um, folding the laundry. So we're getting the girls ready for bed. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. They're wound up, but it's been a good day, a successful day, a fun day. But I'm gonna go ahead right now and say goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.